Hello world, in the previous video, you created a discord application and registered a slash command which can be accessed in a guild. In this video, I will show you how to connect your slash command with Anytime and build your automation workflow. So let's get started. You will need access to Anytime. You can either self-host Anytime or use the hosted service provided by the company. I am going to use my Anytime Cloud instance. You can check out the official Anytime documentation to learn how to get started. Now we are gonna set up an interaction endpoint URL on Discord. This will trigger the workflow whenever the slash command is called. To get a URL for Anytime, we are gonna use the webhook node. Now the interaction endpoint URL will be accepting a POST request. We are gonna change the method to POST. And the next thing is we are gonna use the test URL. Since we are testing and building a workflow. The test URL also allows us to see the output which would be written whenever this webhook URL is called. Since we are using a workbook node in any time, we need to save the workflow. This will register our webhook URL in any time. Now I've added the link in the interaction endpoint URL and if I click on save changes, it gives me an L. The reason for this is because whenever we make a call to an external uh, link, Discord expects an acknowledgement message which we are not passing at the moment. So let's do that. The first thing we want to do is change the response mode. By default, Anytime sends a default response message, but because we want to send our own custom message over here, we are going to select the last node and then property name, data is completely fine over here. Now to set our own custom message, I am going to use the set node. I'm going to turn this to true because I only want to send the information that I am configuring in this particular node. String and the property name earlier was data and Discord expects the message type one. So this would be type and then the value one. So now if I execute the node, you will see that it creates a JSON object which has a key data and then the values type one. So now let's execute the node and try to register a URL. Awesome, so all your edits have been successfully recorded. This means that our interaction endpoint URL was successfully uh, recorded. So now let's execute a workflow and issue the slash command. Oh, so we got an error. Let's take a look at our workflow. If we check the webhook node, you see we get some information. We get the guild ID the member, the user who called this command as well as the type. So the type over here is 2 while the type we are sending is type 1. In the next video, we will learn how to build a workflow which will allow us to add links to a Notion database. It will also send back a response to a Discord once the whole workflow is complete. So stay tuned.